Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, here we're trying to find the least common multiple of 5, 3, and 10. Now, just as it says, as you might think, let's kind of go backwards here. Let's look at the M. M for multiples. So let's go ahead and list out the multiples. Now, as you should know, we start with the number itself, 5, and we're going to go up by 5. So we're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25, 20. And you know, we could go forever. Let's just stop there. We might have to add more later. Okay, next is C for common, least common multiple. Well, let's keep going with our multiples here and see if we can find one that's a common multiple. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and again, we'll have to add more probably, but I don't see anything in common yet. How about for the tens? Let's do multiple to 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. All right, now I want you to pause this video and I want you to list out enough multiples for all three rows until you can find a common multiple. Go ahead. All right, I added a few more multiples. Uh, do you see it? What number, a multiple of all these numbers, is in all three lists? Yep, you probably already figured it out. 30 is the common multiple. Okay, and finally, L stands for least or lowest. So what's the smallest number, first number we come to, that is the common multiple for those 5, 3, and 10 multiples? Well, obviously, that would be 30. So. That is um, actually the easiest way to remember how to find least common multiple. It's not always the most efficient though. You can see how you might have to keep going for a while to eventually find the right multiple. Okay, let's use this method and the next set of numbers and then there's another video I'll record right after this that will show you how to do this with prime factors. Go ahead and try 12, 15, and 20. All right, look at my multiple number lists here. For the multiples of 12, we start with 12 and we go up by 12s. Now sometimes, if you do it too fast, you might make a mistake, but notice how you're gonna add 12 each time. These are multiples of 12. Then we have 15, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and so on. And finally, for the multiples of 20, that's pretty easy, 20, 40, 60, 80. Now, do you see the least common multiple? What's the first number you come to? Yes. Now the reason why we say least is that if we kept going, we would find other common multiples, but we want the smallest one, which in this case would be 60. Okay, least common multiple of those three numbers is 60. So look at my uh, next video, which is least common multiple using prime factors. It's actually a shortcut. You just have to know how to do it. All right, thanks for viewing and thanks for visiting the online classroom of Math Class with Terry V. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.